Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 8.0, and today is day one. So today we're going to lay a little bit of the groundwork when it comes to three separate and yet very important profiles that each of us have inside of Command. So before we even dive into the home screen or the applets, we're going to make sure that all three of our profiles are completely filled out and you can find those profiles by clicking on the down arrow next to your name in the top right hand corner so we'll be using a demo account for all the training in the 66 but you can see that there is a referrals profile you're going to have a my profile and we're going to get to the marketing profile which is underneath the settings menu in just one second but let's start off with the referrals profile so the referrals profile is how you are seen by other agents when they are looking you up inside of the referrals applet. And we'll get to that applet later on in the training. But inside of here, right, a lot of this information is being pulled from other places, including your marketing profile. And we'll show you that in just a second. But really, in, in the referrals profile, the main things that I would consider looking at would be your service areas. So you can see you can have multiple service areas. So this might be I service Katy, I service Houston, I service Richmond, I service Cyprus, etc. cetera. Um, you are gonna want to write out a bio. Now you're gonna see the bio in other places as well. So oftentimes write a good one and be prepared to copy and paste. You're gonna have all of your social links here as well. Just so you know, in that uh, referral profile, those will show up as actual icons at the very bottom of this section of information about you. Uh, referral network, you can actually choose not to be found in the network. I don't know why you would want to do that. Um, and yet, you know, you have the option to say, I don't want to be found and you can toggle that off or toggle it on. And then you can also determine what metrics you want shown on this profile page. So if we went in and turned all of these on and saved the changes, then what will end up happening is that along the top here, you would see numbers start to show up if you had completed metrics. Uh, we don't have any completed metrics, obviously, in this demo account, so nothing's gonna show up. But if you're in your account, you should start to see some numbers showing up with regards to your closings, how many buy side transactions, list side transactions, total transaction, years with KW, and then I believe it's also your least based transactions would show up as well. So this is the first profile to keep an eye on, your referrals profile. Make sure that is completely filled out such that when people do find you on the referrals applet, they can make a good decision to refer you to that business. I highly recommend filling out the bio. Um, that's oftentimes how I decide if I'm going to send business to somebody if they've taken the time to actually fill out their bio and I can read more about them. We're going to go back and look at the second profile that we need to be aware of. And this one is just simply called My Profile. So if we click on My Profile, this is a lot of the back end information that we have inside of Keller Williams around you. So you can see we actually have service areas in the About Me, but those service areas weren't listed inside of the actual referral profile. These service areas are oftentimes the service areas that have been designated by your market center. So you can choose to come in, click on edit, right? And then put in the additional information. And you can choose to say, hey, even though my market center services some of these areas, maybe I'm gonna choose to remove some of them or add additional ones. And you can see that you can search there as well. We also want to keep an eye on preferred language and other languages. In the referrals applet, you can actually search by languages spoken. So if you do speak any other languages, important to have that here. Here's the second time you're going to see that bio come up. This is where copy and paste works out really well. And then if you have any other additional specialties or designations, you're going to want to identify those here and you can actually just type in those boxes. Next up, you've got the contact information. You can see that second section down here. You're going to want to just make sure that you enter a good phone number that can be edited such that people can find you and know who to call. The third one is the MyKW. This is a really important set of information. This is where you can manage your KW email. It's going to show you your KW start date, all of your login credentials and password recovery emails. 
you've got personal information, including phone number, your where you want your official KW communications to go to, mailing address, then you're going to start to get into uh, some additional information, right? So legal name, social, date of birth, etc. These two are really important as well. If you are getting profit share, your profit share account can be willed to another individual. However, we've got to know at KWRI who your beneficiary needs to be. So making sure that you have this information completely filled out and that it's accurate if for any reason you've changed beneficiaries, you may want to update that as well. And then you can also see who your sponsor is. So that's all information underneath my profile. And this is the My KW section. Definitely want to take a look at that. If you have any questions about information that's here, or um, obviously you can see how to update, but how it got there, you may want to reach out to your MCA or team leader. Finally, we've got the affiliation section. This is just the market center that I'm connected. When did I start? What roles might I have? And you can see right in this demo account, we don't have any roles, but when was it created? So we're going to go back one more time and we may have to click command back a few times. There we go. And the final profile we're going to look at is our marketing profile, which is located underneath settings. Then we're going to come to the connect settings and we're going to look at marketing profile. This is where we can upload our headshot. If we have a team, we can upload a team logo and then we can begin to fill in all of our information. So first name, last name, license number, if you have a team that you're on, the name of your team, professional job title, slogan, designations and credentials. You can see a lot of these do sort of uh, carry over, right? But you can determine whether you want to copy and paste. Here's the bio. You can see I previously put in my bio in the marketing section, and yet the bio wasn't listed in the other two. So in this case, I may come in and just copy and paste, copy and paste, etc. cetera. Uh, recently added is military affiliation. And you can see that we have several different sections here. So there are, it looks like eight different affiliations you can choose from. And then the nice thing is once you choose one of them, you actually have not only national, right? US based military service, but there's a ton of other countries in here as well. So if you're from overseas or spent time serving overseas in a military other than our own, you could also list that as well. Finally, we're gonna make sure we fill in all of our bio, phone information, email information, website information, making sure that your market center information is appropriately filled in, and then check with your market center as far as are there any compliance footers that I need to be aware of that I should have inside of my marketing profile. And then of course, you've got your socials. Again, we saw this in referrals profile. You can bring these into your marketing profile as well. Right now, Google Analytics is not a feature that we are using inside of Command, although it is here. So don't stress too much about your Google Analytics ID. That's your homework for today, day one of the 66 Day Challenge 8.0. We want to make sure you get in and you take a look at your referrals profile, your my profile, and then your marketing profile. Spend some time getting all three of those sections filled out. Really important that you do so because this information gets pulled into almost everything else we do inside of command, especially when it comes to begin communication with our contacts, our clients, our consumers, etc. That's it for today, guys. As always, I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Hope you have a great rest of the day.